<laughs> got you. You're it. She may not have the same legs as her sisters and brothers. I'm good sports. But six-year-old Ireland Nugent still keeps up with a pack. Whether it's climbing trees, I'll be ready. Playing soccer or tag, and even when she stumbles, I'm not gonna count. She gets right back up. For her parents, <laughs> it's a blessing to witness. Yeah. You know that we could actually get Goose. back to some sense of normal. I just felt like after the, after the accident, our life would never be normal again. Look she wants to go. <laughs> the Nugent's new normal began on April 10th, 2013. We call it survive anniversary. Every year, it, you kind of relive it and you don't, you know, you just want that day to come and go. Then, two-year-old Ireland ran out of her family's garage while her father was using the lawnmower, but he couldn't hear her. He accidentally severed her feet. I gotta tell you, it's hard to live in this house after the accident and being here, you know, um, I have to kind of shut my mind off to the to what happened and where it happened as I come to the house every day. This is my wall. Ireland has a tangible reminder inside of her house of how far she has come. This? And one of her first prosthetics. I picked Minnie Mouse because I really like her and because it was really cute. But today, there's a different Disney character on Ireland's legs, the Little Mermaid, Ariel. Ariel is kind of like me. She sticks up and, and she doesn't follow everybody else. She's like different. Different, yet like other kids, which is what Ireland's parents prayed for. She participates in cheerleading, races, and even took on a rock climbing wall. And I once climbed it up to the top without my legs on. She's even come to the rescue of her brother. A car was driving right down the road. He was in front of it, so I grabbed him. Despite everything she's overcome, Get up. her father says there are still moments <laughs> of heartbreaking reality. Yeah. I'm sorry. There's every once in a while she'll She'll say something that uh, um, you can tell she she wants her feet, you know, and uh, and that kind of hits you hard, you know, to know that you can't do that, you know, and you can't turn back the clock. Ready? But Ireland's parents encourage her to lead a life without limits. We've made sure to let Ireland see that there are people out there who have disabilities the same, even worse, and they're doing whatever they want with their life and and that's what that's the way we want her to to live a life and she's also seeing support from her friends at school we all had to walk but i went in a wheelchair and all my friends they pushed me in my wheelchair really like really cool and ireland has become an inspiration to those who don't know her personally but follow her journey on her family's facebook page can you try and kick it? Really good and really um, happy. This is one Italian that I can make people feel good about the world. 